Good morning folks. The good news is I'm here. The bad news is it's Thursday. All the moving went, shall we say, belly up rather than tits up. And uh, I've only just got finished. In fact, I've not finished yet. I've got one daughter moved back. I'm moving the other daughter back temporarily on the uh, 19th or 20th of this month for three weeks and then she moves back again to a different accommodation so whilst I'm here for one day because tomorrow I'm taking them I'm taking number two daughter and boyfriend back to York so whilst I'm here let's do a drain down and take the lid off that pump and see what the hell's rattling about inside it see what's going on with it right I'll bring you back when I've got it done there we go folks, it's draining down. I put that drain tap in a bit of an excess in an inaccessible place. It's not good. Uh, I can manage with it, but I should really put it on the other side where it would st have stuck out more. But never mind. It's not getting to the actual drain off, it's getting to the tap underneath the drain off to open it up to get it draining. Well, that's going to be almost it, I think. Because there isn't much water in the system. That's why it picks up so quick. Right, onward. I'll find an Allen key and get this pump under. Well, here we are, folks. There's nothing in the pump. And it spins freely. But it doesn't start. When I turn the power on, it's not running. It actually magnetically locks. So I think what we have here is a knackered pump and I think the noise may have been, unfortunately, just the pump jamming. There is quite a lot of play on that uh, rotor there. It could just be worn out. So, replacement pump. Here's another pump. This is out, actually out of a out of a gas ventilation boiler but uh, by the looks of it it will fit the same base so I'm going to whip the allen screws out make sure it fits then put a cable on it and try this one so there we go I've just been uh, capacitor testing on this also I noticed that one of those wires was very loose and it may be that that's what's happened that it's uh, not had the start capacitor in and it's not started and it's burnt the winding out but it will run if you spin it off, but yet yeah, there's nothing wrong with that capacitor. That capacitor's measuring okay. So, curious and curiouser. Let's get stuck in. Well, as you might guess, it doesn't fit. And this one is definitely jiggered. Doesn't work at all. Just, uh, as soon as you turn the power on, it just magnetically locks. And the ca I've tested the capacitor and the capacitor's okay, so... I think we've burnt it out or it was burnt out or it was on its way out when I took it off because I did change it as a suspected faulty pump from my mum's central heating so the next thing to do is to pop down to Michael's and see if he's got one I'll bring you back when I've done it well folks I've managed to get it going but I think the problem is that as they would say on uh, Rebuilds UK it's been a pump too long In fact, the bearings are completely worn out, so there you go. So, it's look for another pump time. And I don't think I've got one. I've just been down to Michael's and he's not there. He's away to show, so that's knackered, knackered me up as well. Never mind. Bugger. Morning, folks. Flying visit on Saturday morning. I was discussing this with somebody and they said... You can put new bushes in these pumps. As you can see, you can see the play on there, can't you? I might have a look at that and see if I can. Also, two new collets 
from Dell of Machine Nut Dell, a YouTube channel that you should all go and watch because it's very amusing, very good, and he makes some fantastic bits and pieces. He's also got, seems to have the knack of getting really good auction finds and uh, general engineering bits and pieces that he seems to come across for next to nothing. Right, that's going to be it for this week. Uh, it's a very brief video because I've been doing all sorts. Uh, I've managed to do one lot of moving back home. And uh, the other lot of moving is going to happen on the 19th or the 20th for five weeks and then back to York again. So, thanks for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. And uh, I'll see you all next week. For, I hope, a normal week. Bye now.